to the press conference here in Salzburg in the Salzburg Press Club about NATO membership of Austria. It's absolutely time for Austria to join NATO together with uh, Finland is already there. Sweden is coming now very soon and Austria which joined uh, the European Union in 95 together with our allies in the north. We should also join the NATO alliance now in 2024 at the Washington summit next year basically. That's an ambitious timeline. What needs to be done is of course that the four main parties in Austria, the Social Democrats and the Christian Democrats and also the Liberals and the Greens, they adopt a, um, a parliament joint uh, decision uh, to end uh, neutrality law of 95 and then also to apply to NATO. I'm sure the Americans will be very happy about the new ally here in Central Europe and we are ultimately the only country which is left out here in the center and all other countries around us who are in the European Union already, with exemption of Switzerland, but uh, all other countries are already in NATO and we should definitely join as well. And it's a question of morality. Why should the Czechs and the Romanians and the Hungarians defend us? We are also an uh, industrial rich nation, we also have people, we have also to contribute to European and to our own security. That's essential. And also a question of solidarity in Europe and also a question of responsibility. We are all under attack by Russia, so ultimately this is very important and in many ways it is the completion of our Western integration, which has started with 1955 with our independence, supervised and controlled by the superpowers. It has then continued in 95 with our European Union membership. And then, of course, uh, it is uh, the logical next step is NATO membership. And it's in many ways the completion of our Western integration, which needs to happen. And it's also a major step for our sovereignty. Because contrary to what the enemies of NATO in Austria say, our sovereignty is very limited by neutrality. We have self-imposed under Russian pre uh, pressure in 1955 this major limit to our sovereignty that we cannot join military alliances. And a, <laughs> a sovereign nation can choose its own alliances very logically. And so that's absolutely what we should do. And we should be part of the West, of the free world. We are, I think. Most people will agree and we definitely don't want to be part of some Russian-Chinese enterprise uh, of autocracy. And so ultimately it's about our freedom as well. And it's about a little bit of honesty as well. Because the America and NATO have supported and secured our independence uh, from 45. They have liberat liberated us from the Nazis in 45 and in the Second World War. They have kept us free from uh, the um, uh, communist uh, danger in the Cold War and they have also supported us continuously uh, during the most difficult times when it was about the Balkan Wars and now in the Ukraine War. This is very important. We are with America, America is with us, NATO and America, it's basically um, the securer of our uh, safety, liberty and freedom and that's why we should join NATO. That's my case here in Austria. I'm campaigning now since one and a half years for Austrian NATO membership. It's the minority in Austria because we have a very strong entrenched position of um, neutrality, unfortunately. But I did my very best throughout this year to campaign for um, Austria joining NATO. My best event, I think I'm still very proud of it. This was, of course, at the Austrian National Day at Heldenplatz. I was in front of the Austrian governmental tribune and I raised the NATO flag and they were almost, uh, they were shocked from the president to the chancellor to the vice chancellor. And after five minutes, the military police was kindly asking me to stop showing the flag. But nevertheless, I think it was very visible and all the people of the government and all the international diplomats representing at the most holy day of Austrian neutrality, they showed, uh, they show, they have seen that Austria should join NATO. And that was one of the activities which I have done in the last one and a half years, many more. And I have convinced at least 6,556 people to sign for Austria joining NATO. It's of course uh, not the majority, I'm well aware about it, but ultimately it is also a big step because it's the constitutional reality of Austria 
because the way the Russians imposed neutrality on Austria in 1955 was a very smart way, <clears throat> because ultimately they have forced us or they have blackmailed us into signing that we wanted ourselves. So it's the constitutional reality of Austria, so how to change it? Yeah? Everybody who is in the state service, who is a civil servant, who is loyal to the republic, it's of course a big step to change the constitution, but it's a necessary step and we should do it. Unfortunately, the Austrian political class has not been ready in this year to really um, change our um, uh, perspective. Uh, we have done some changes in terms of uh, spending more on military, but in the six main factors which I define, this is of course the strategic <coughs> debate about NATO, this is about the enlargement policy, <coughs> Sorry. this is about the trade policy, this is about the energy policy, this is about uh, the military support for Ukraine, and this is about uh, the uh, Schengen policy. We have basically failed completely. We have not changed. Uh, even here at the end of 2023, that means very soon we are two years in the war. We are still buying a lot of energy from Russia. <coughs> we have uh, given no concrete military support for Ukraine at all. Uh, we are um, resisting uh, the Schengen entry of Romania and Bulgaria, which is so important for the supply of uh, Ukraine. And we are blocking all our opening of the EU towards America with the Mercosur <coughs> and the trade agreements with um, ASEAN and others because uh, we are not ready to really um, decouple from the Russian um, economic system and we should. The logical way is yeah, Russia is attacking Ukraine, we are supporting Ukraine, now Russia is waging an economic war against everybody and especially against Europe in the field of energy and other areas, so we must decouple from Russia uh, strategically and we have not done that, especially in Austria and in Hungary, and that's very uh, negative. So what needs to happen? What needs to happen is very clear. We need the NATO membership of Austria, of Kosovo, of Bosnia, and of, of course of Ukraine. Because the only way to stop the war is NATO membership of Ukraine, and the only way to secure also Kosovo and uh, Bosnia from Serbia is NATO membership. And also Austria must contribute to the security of our region. It's our region very much. Yeah? It's we very much affected in Central Europe. And why we can ask only American support when we are not able and not willing to also support and contribute to that. So this is the most important messages I want to give today. Thanks a lot for listening. And dear international friends, please support Austria joining NATO. It's the moral obligation of Austria. It's our historic opportunity now to join NATO. And please, 2024, help to convince the Austrian politicians and the Austrian people to support and to join NATO together with Sweden and hopefully also with Kosovo, Bosnia and Ukraine. Thanks a lot. More to come. Happy New Year. And I will keep you posted next year. Bye.